or we're here at the uh, Rancho Cucamonga uh, Vista Murrieta game. A little, about two hours ahead of time here with uh, elite cornerback Jalen Ramsey committed to USC. And what brings you out here uh, to watch uh, watch this ball game and just uh, to Southern California in general? Um, well, I came out here for a USC game. Um, I talked to the Hawkins and they were like, uh, see if you can just come down, you know, like a day early so you can uh, come to the uh, game, uh, watch Chris against Sua. And I was like, that's fine with me. So we got the ticket and uh, I'm staying with them. So it's fun. Had a good time so far? Mm -hmm. What time did you arrive? Uh, I got here about a little bit before noon. Um, Chris came and picked me up, him and his brother of mine. So. Were you able to fly into Ontario? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I flew Ontario. Thank God, you didn't have to drive yeah. from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, so you're going to be here, you're going to be going to the Notre Dame game. Yep. And how long are you here for? You... Uh, till Sunday around noon. Till Sunday around noon? Mm -hmm. All right, and just tell us right now, you're going to be taking some trips. Just tell us about some of those official visits that you're going to be taking. Um, my next official visit is to Mississippi State. Uh, this is following week. Um, third, I think the day is, and then the next week after that, 7th, uh, 8th, and ninth at uh, Washington. Um, and then there won't be any more until after the All-American game and after the season uh, in January. Um, around January 11th, I have one set for Alabama. Okay. And then um, January 18th, I'm going to, I'm going to USC. All right. My last. And where are you right now with with your commitment with USC? You know, you're obviously out here on an unofficial visit, so you know the Trojans are obviously still a school that uh, is very much uh, part of your uh, equation yes, as far as recruiting is concerned. Yeah. But where are, are you? Just as tight right now with USC uh, yeah. as you were I'm still when you committed? Commit um, right now. Uh, I just say my other bit is just to make sure, um, you know, get something out of them. Also, you know, I gotta make sure I have time because it's my future. So, um, but yeah, I'm still a strong USC commitment. Right Does the coaching situation or a little uncertainty uh, yeah, make you a little nervous? Yeah, that makes me a little nervous, makes me think. That's why um, these other visits are important. Um, visit, even my unofficial visit, like to the, uh, this weekend's visit is important. So I can make sure things like that, uh, I can, you know, talk to the coaching staff about them maybe and get things cleared up so uh, I won't have any uncertainty. And, and it's a lot more comforting to be able to sit, stand, whatever, face to face with these coaches, yeah. and, you know, and, and and get that assurances from oh, yeah. versus over the phone. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Uh, let's say, if, for instance, what, what what if USC ends up with a different defensive coordinator, and and, and Monty Kiffin's not with the Trojans next year? Um, you know, I, they'll factor into things. Um, I feel like. I'm in a whole bunch. Uh, I feel st still feel like Coach Sanders, mm -hmm. a great DB coach. He prepares us, um, and I feel like when he gets more of his players in uh, to the program, uh, his recruits, then he'll you know he'll show a lot more um, what he can do. And, and also tell us about the the relationship that uh, you have with the, with the fellow commits and, and other recruits that USC is going after. Seems like you guys are extremely close, and yeah. dis despite the disappointing season, you guys are mm -hmm. staying strong. Yeah, we're uh, we're still strong. We're all committed still, uh, besides one. Um, that's all right. Uh, Is that Max? Yeah, it's Max. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Um, we're still strong. You always uh, see us talking about to each other. You know, keeping motivation up. Um, even this visit, I mean, I'm staying with Chris and his family. Yeah. Um, and then we'll be at the game. We'll see everybody at the game sit together, and things like that. So it's still a it's a good relationship. Um, we're all staying together for the most part right now. Are you in communications with, with quite a few of these guys on a regular yeah, basis? On a regular basis, I am. Can you give us some names that you, that you talk uh, to frequently? Jason Hazard, King, Bigelow, Chris, um, uh, Kylie, Steven, Justin. I can really name a lot right now. Eldridge, especially. Eldridge, too. Eldridge. Tell us about the relationship you have with them. I mean, he's going to be a guy that you'd be facing in practice. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously, an extremely talented wide receiver. Yep. Uh, have you had a chance to go up against him in yeah. any of the camps? Um, yeah, me and Eldridge, we were actually we wanted to go against each other. Uh, the very first game, yeah. the Rivals Fossil Challenge, we went against each other. Um, I got him on that one. I got the pick. Um, but then we go, we went together. Um, I want to say we were on the same team at the opening, so we didn't go to get uh, against each other. Right. But. Um, at the USC Rising Stars camp, we went against each other every single time because we knew that was what's gonna make us better, get you know, get the best out of each other. So that's what we did. And, um, you know, I just really talked to him a lot because I know I had to sit out uh, one year for my knee surgery, and he had to deal with the same thing this year. So um, 
You know, his spirits are high, though. He, I know he's going to bounce back even better. I, I definitely agree with you on that one. And, yeah. and, and, and we won't keep it too much longer here because obviously the interviews are going to keep coming. Uh, people won't get a chance out here to talk to you very often. And your relationship with Team Martin, talk about that. Uh, our relationship's still great. Um, he's coming in town to see me uh, this week. Uh, that'll be great. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a great relationship. That relationship never um, has taken a fall or you know, mm -hmm. drop at any time. So a great relationship. And really, that's what all the coaches, to be honest. And, and can you just tell us, uh, you've obviously answered this question probably a few other times, but what were, what were a few of the tipping well, the tipping points for USC, why you chose USC over, you know, a lot of really prestigious schools. Um, one, the education. Uh -huh. uh, not many people know it's a private school. It's, you'll get a good education. Um, the alumni base and the network come out of USC, that's, uh, that's something big that really, you know, that was a major factor, the most intriguing. And then early playing time, um, the ability for early playing time. And I know uh, I like that coaching staff too, and the players, the commits that I'm going in with. Uh, I know we all want to be champions, and we want the best. So um, I really like that. We we all mesh together good. Obviously, it, it's disappointing that Matt Barkley doesn't get to to play tomorrow. But in a way, is it kind of exciting for you to get to see Max Wittick play, who's yeah. going to be the quarterback for the next two, three years? Yeah, uh, that is exciting. Um, like you said, he'll be the quarterback when I'm there. Um, and, you know, he's confident, which I really like. Uh, he's confident about the game. He's confident about what he can do. And so hopefully they'll go get the upset with Mac. Um, you know, playing. Have you ever had a chance to spend any time with, with Max? No, I haven't, actually. I haven't. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you taking time out to talk to us, and I hope you have a wonderful time out here uh, over the weekend. And uh, what's your prediction, Notre Dame-USC? Uh, of course, USC. All right. Good answer.